Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I stumbled upon something really, really cool and interesting that I really wanted to try out with you guys and it's called sugar painting. It's kind of weird because you usually don't paint with sugar, but it's actually a very old Chinese tradition and I thought it's really, really cool because it's fascinating how you can create just with sugar and a little bit of water such beautiful art. So I decided let's try it together and I hope it will work. I've tried to find a good recipe for that. I don't know if it will work, but we will see and yeah, let's find out. And if you're someone who's all dissatisfied with certain art projects like paint mixing or moving colors, like in the last video, give this video a big thumbs up so I know you would like to see more of such videos and comment down below what you would like to see next so I know what you would like to see. And I really appreciate your ideas. You have always the best ideas and yeah, let me know. Okay, so the one recipe set, we need one cup of sugar and then one quarter cup of water. Is it quarter? Yes, okay. Looks too much, but we will see. And now all we need to do is cook it a little bit so it all dissolves and cook it until it's brownish. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I think it's all dissolved here. There's not really cri no crystals on the side. Now we just need to turn the heat a little bit higher so it cooks. And make sure it doesn't burn, it won't be that great. So now we need to let it cook for several minutes until it turns brown. And then we'll see. So this is how it looks after a few minutes. It already gets a little bit brownish and I must say it really smells good, like, like real popcorn. Well, is there a fake popcorn but then it just really smells like cinema and popcorn. Really nice. So I'm really excited. Um, so um, this happened. I think, oh my god, I think I burned it. Did I burn it? Because it smells like I burned it. Oh no. It just exploded. Oh my god. Okay, now we will just add it here to this. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Help. Okay, so this is what we mix together. It's pretty hot. This is a baking sheet. Okay, now just a heart guys I think it's burnt I think I need to redo it mm. it shouldn't be be like this brown guys I think I need to redo it we tried mm. yeah definitely burn <laughs> okay guys I will come back with a new mixture of sugar it will be perfect this time okay guys this is my third attempt and this is still me trying to clean the mess so don't look at it and I think I will just keep it like this I don't I don't wait until it's completely turned brownish it adds a little bit yellowish, so maybe that's already enough. I also thought maybe, what if you add food coloring inside? Maybe that will be fun as well. Mm, let me actually do that, we'll see how it goes. Mix it, and I think it's already, should already remove it from, from cooking. I think it will be already exploding soon. So, wish me luck! So this is the result of cooking it, so <laughs> this is the mess, oh my god. Okay, let's move on. It's really, really hot. This is difficult to distribute actually.
So it's supposed to be wings, but oh great. Mm. And once you created the design you want with sugar, you can put a score on top and fix it with sugar as well. And then you have a lollipop and you can gift it. So now you can just remove it and you have a cute heart. Super cute and I think it's a great personalized gift if you really really exercise and try it out. I mean it's a mess but and it's sugar, it's like candy and you can eat it. So this is oops. You need to be very careful as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. It's really really good. It just tastes like tastes like lollipop. Really good. Mm -hmm. You can create any design you like. Be very careful when you create it. Um, make sure it's not too thin like here. It needs to be more sturdy and more thick like this. I love how it turned out. It's my first try and it took me a while to figure out how to make it. But if you want to try it out, I have all the details and more detail in my description box. So, so my message is try new things, have fun with art. Don't be so critical. Don't hate your art. Remember, art should be fun. It's something relaxing. A way to express yourself and not to hate on you or hate on everything. So like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below what you would like to see next so I can make it happen. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you. Stay till the end. And I will see you next week. Bye.